event. Can you tell us about that and what it entails and also maybe how it compares to the event that you did last year? Sure, we'd love to. This April 15th through the 17th, we're looking forward to welcoming the 2010 United States National Synchronized Swimming Championship. Mm -hmm. It's the largest event for the year for the sport of synchronized swimming. And we're going to welcome over 300 participants, officials, and coaches that will be traveling from across the United States, as well as Puerto Rico and Mexico, mm -hmm. coming in for competition for this that will be staying here in our local area for about a week. Um, in comparison to the previous event that we did in August, the August event hosted simply international, so we had quite a few participants that came from actually out of the country. Mm -hmm. um, this event is very prestigious and, and the honor for the United States in and of itself. Participants in this event, um, they've gone through the competition in order to be eligible to participate in it, and then based on how they do in this event, we'll rank them for the opportunity to make the national team to represent okay. the United States. And it's also then the stair step into being a representative at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. So it's a very big challenge for these girls and for the participants. It's a big deal for them in order to accomplish uh, Olympic dreams. And what's the age group for the participants? Obviously all female mm -hmm. and they'll be 14 to 24 years old. Okay, now the public can come view. Absolutely. Do they need tickets or how does it work? They do need tickets. We have a couple of different pricing options and tickets are available for purchase through our website okay. which is www.hffa.com. Um, the ticketing options are for Thursday or Friday when we'll have the free and the technical competition. Mm -hmm. Those are eight dollars each and Saturday we'll have the final along with the parade of athletes. Um, it'll be the entire awards presentation and those tickets are twelve dollars each or you can buy a pass for all three days for twenty dollars. And for people who maybe aren't familiar with synchronized swimming, can you just give an example of what people might expect to see? Because it's, it's a pretty cool thing, but it's sure. somewhat unknown, I guess, relative it is. to other sports. We like to describe it as the coolest thing you've never seen. Mm -hmm. Because for most of us, obviously, we've never had the opportunity to see it in person. Mm -hmm. right. But it is has a very long history in uh, the Olympic sports arena. Mm -hmm. And it is an incredible display of grace and power. And you will see things done in water that defy gravity and that you never knew were, were capable. And you will see them do it with a smile on their face and an incredible performance that will make the Olympic experience of what you see on TV come home to see that you had no idea so much went into this sport. It is how really How do you view incredible. it now? Are you sitting on bleachers and you're looking down or how? It is. It's in our 50 meter pool and it is general admission and so there are elevated bleachers that are available for seating so everyone has a great seat mm -hmm. to be able to view the event. It takes place in a very large pool and the girls never touch the bottom. They're always in the water and you can always see what's going on and especially when they go flying through the air. You'll definitely wow. catch it. Wow. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. It is. Now tell us about some of the other things that you have going on with the um, series for children. Mm -hmm. We do. We have the Kids Triathlon Series coming back for its third year. Mm -hmm. um, Barkdale Animal Hospital is our title sponsor for the event. Mm -hmm. And Huntersville is, uh, Family Fitness and Aquatics is very happy to be hosting what is the largest kids triathlon series for the entire state of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. We will have upwards of 400 plus participants that will take place in the four month series of triathlons. So if you want to set goals for your children with taking them through the, the commons that they know of swim, bike, run, mm -hmm. it is a fun, exciting way to get little ones as young as two and three. Oh um, really? They can go that small? As small as two and three. We'll start out with just a short run mm -hmm. and it'll get them involved and get them excited about something. So mm -hmm. if they want to come out and support older brother or sister, they can come out all the way up to age 14. Mm -hmm. So how does this work though? You, you sign up, do you train on your own or do you give them guidance or what's the process? We have a process? combination. Okay. Um, you can sign up for a clinic with our in-house uh, uh, triathlon coach who does work with children as well or you can participate in our triathlon summer camp options which will help get them prepared um, and help them learn how to do the transitions and things like that. You can also just look at the information that we make available online in order to train and get ready for it. Um, 
while there is a competitive nature to it, ultimately the goal is obviously for kids to have fun, think about fitness, make it a part of their regular routine. Mm -hmm. And it does help encourage that in a fun environment where they get to go and have fun with their peers, make great friends, and then enjoy some uh, fun activities in the park across the street when it's all over and participate in, in winning an award for their accomplishments. So yeah, it's kind of a great, festival right? environment at the end? Where it they, is. Okay. The July event concludes. So it's once a month for four months. It starts in April. And the first one is April 10th. Registration's open. Um, you can access that through our website as well. And the kids absolutely love it. It's a great, great event. That sounds great. And just tell us really briefly for viewers who might not be that familiar with Huntersville Family Fitness and Aquatics, what you have in the facility. I mean, summer's coming, you get that great outdoor pool area for sure. people that are maybe looking for something like that. Sure. Our outdoor family splash pool opens Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. so we'll have a great kickoff party for that. Everyone's welcome to come out and check that out. Um, if you go to our website, you will get to see all the details about what our incredible center offers. We like to think we have something for everyone mm -hmm. with 88,000 square feet three different pools, the full fitness center, full children's services options. There truly is something for everybody in the family. So there's great deals and offers on our website to come out, give us a try, and see if it's a good fit for you. Yeah, absolutely. And we always um, highlight your special offers as well on lknsavings.com so people can come there and find information. Yeah, And we will have the, all your events on our calendar too. Excellent. I also want to put a plug in for their swimming lessons because that time of year is coming up. Right. Drownings are a big concern with children, That's um, right. so it is very important to get their swimming lessons and you guys do a phenomenal job. Because yeah. I had a daughter who was screaming and would not even <laughs> get in the water and they taught her how to swim, so any Wonderful. Child. <laughs> Wonderful, thank Great. you. Yeah, thanks so much Tracy. It's good to see you as usual. Thank you.